I would like to, I guess, congratulate you, and this isn't just because you're here, I'm not, you know, so I don't want to just blow wind up your bottom, but you do actually go into the feelings that you're going through and how gambling started being an issue for you, and it certainly seemed to be something that really took you by surprise. I was really hesitant when I first got asked to write a book about the gambling, because it was sort of almost uh, dead and buried, it was three years ago, and um, I sort of didn't really want to bring it up again, it was sort of old wounds and people had almost forgotten about it and I'd mm. moved on with my life, but um, the opportunity arose and I just thought it was a good chance to raise awareness about addiction because it's such a, a thing that a lot of families uh, have got a member that either suffer or have got a friend that they know that suffers from addiction and it was just a chance to tell my story and get it out there and I needed to be as honest as I could with it because um, you need to be to um, to get your message across and um, so hopefully there's someone out there to read it and, and learn something and, and hopefully help someone along the way. You probably would have lost, what, 200000 you think, across yeah, the time? Yeah, that would probably be yeah, about the minimum I would yeah. have lost. I reckon over the, the journey it would have been somewhere in that vicinity. And it's, it's so hard to weigh up because you have weekends where you win, you lose, you, and you actually mm. don't even keep any records. So it could have been more, I'm not too sure. But um, you know, I think that's probably roughly the figure it would have been. So you got rid of all the texts on the phone and even now the TAB guy goes straight oh, out. Oh, how can you just keep putting the text out? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> throw ours out.